There are a couple of these now hiring signs out front of this school and the state teachers union says not only are vacancies higher this year than normal, but they've actually gone up since the school year has started. We started out with more vacancies than we've ever seen before with over 5,000 vacancies across the state. The head of the um, Florida Education Association, Andrew Spar, says that's what they found before the school year started. He says it was so high they counted again this month and found the number of open teacher jobs had actually gone up to about 5,100. We are now two months into the school year and typically we start with a number of vacancies and by this point they're cut at least in half. I checked the job site for Orange County Public Schools and it had 83 listings for instructional jobs. That is down from over 140 when we last checked with them in August. But the FEA says many districts around the state have gone the other direction. And while COVID has added burdens to the job, that's not the main factor. So Florida is among the lowest paying states in the nation for teachers and our education staff professionals. Spar says many teachers have given up. He hopes the end of the FSA testing will improve working conditions and that lawmakers will make other changes to increase pay so more teachers decide it's worth it to stay in the classroom. In Orange County, Bob Hazen, West 2 News.